Yo, uh, Seabook, I know you're in the area. You can help me out. Okay, I'm sorry I was so quiet as a I wasn't looking at your ass or anything. No, 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 no. You gotta get up and do it. Is this it? Is it? Holy moly, you don't even hurt me. Level 3, Maggie. Level 3, Maggie. Level 3, Maggie. Yo, it's the Game Boy DS, and welcome back to Common In Asagi, the Complete Edition. So, let's uh, go to low. Let's see, where did we leave off at? Oh, boy. Well, I guess this would be the answer, right? No, that would be the answer. That's a 422 right there, okay. I'm hoping for pressing the right thing. If I would have noticed, I would have called Kiyosuke out. Let you in where, baby girl? Let you in where? Such that my mind was disconcerted inside. Yeah. Such that my mind was disconcerted inside. I came forth with words of how I felt of Kiyosuke. Although small, perhaps that was my answer. <laughs> my sixth sense picked up on something. Kiyosuke. No, it's different. The footsteps are running lightly. Not a man. No, not Kiyosuke. Those footsteps. Ah, Onechan, koko ni ita no? Kore, posto ni tegami haitte ta yo. Hmm. Ch, chotto, gakkou wa daijoubu na no? Sakura showed a bright, cheerful smile, putting my worries in another place. Hehe, shinpai me sareru na ne ue. これも一流の対魔人になるための辛い修行だと思っています。一流の対魔人は学校に遅刻なんかしないわよ、さくら。Already, I was left speechless in shock. まあ、それはそれ。これはこれ。はい、手紙。確かに渡したからね。Sakura handed over the letter with a reverse salute to me. それでは、今度こそ行ってきます。and she left. Well, I know it's summer vac vacay, but... I know it's summer vacay, but what, even if y'all got some school or not, uh, make sure y'all on school on time. Nothing better than... Nothing beats a good education. For the time being, in order to become an ADN, the ladies cannot be mended. I watched the letter. I watched the letter. I accepted it from... So I looked at the letter. Yeah, I'm gonna translate that better. I looked at the letter. I had accepted from Sakura. The letter was only addressed to the sender, as there was no stamp present. Although, I thought in doubt, I opened the seal. It was long, narrow strip of paper inside, in a mere sentence. Overall. <laughs> sorry I clicked over that folks, I'm sorry. I was entirely sensitive to the name, saying it sharply. Tension ran throughout my body. <laughs> I felt the present. Of course, it's only soccer running to school. In addition, I sent some people passing by, but none of them seemed suspicious. Holding the letter in my hand, I shivered bit by bit. At least it was likely that the remnants survived. No. How did they know my whereabouts? I know it cannot be true. That time, I had watched as I had entirely wiped them out. And yet. 
気配を気づかずに潜んでいた者がいた A night fog had enveloped me as my mind became uneasy. My heart beat violently. Calm down, girl, calm down. Know your whereabouts. You're just a little shaken. While it may be true, I had as such, I was distracted. But in any case, I demanded. I demanded urgently to know of my whereabouts. Calling Sakura home from school and putting a message on Kiyosuke's answering machine didn't help my pre present situation. Transferring to a place of security, they were ambushing me. Here I am, Asagi. If you weren't in the living room, you must have been here. <laughs> As a s u d d e n presence, I raised my hand, raised for a strike at the, vi at the voice. Oh! What's the matter? k o s u k e I stayed in my hand that was about to strike. Being so caught up with the letter, k i y o s u k e had appeared unnoticed before my eyes. I'm sorry. I sort of frightened you. But it's only me, isn't it? As always, you know when somebody's there, don't you? Seeing the confusion in my face, Kiyosuke smiled to give me a peace of mind. Is that so? Yeah. You sort of look a little tired, but don't you? But yeah, you sort of look a little tired, don't you? It's in your face. Tired? Certainly you could say that. Seeing the tender smile of Kiyoki and my fiance e surely healed my heart and mind. Speaking of that, it's proof that I'm weary. Are you alright, Soggy? <laughs> that tender smile, how much it had cured me of the savage world of the ADN until now. I was glad Kiyosuke had returned and come to me like this. Of course, Kiyosuke, more than anyone. More than anyone.、Uh. What's the matter, a s a k i As it is, I have forgotten my place. I recall my anger. Kiyosuke, Kinova. Doing an angry face on purpose. I appeal the reason of my anger. Ah, <laughs> your pardon. The truth is, things came up. <laughs> well, I didn't say anything because I didn't want you to know until now. And like that, Kiyosuke presented a small case from his pocket. I let a spontaneous voice. Even though I had yet to see it, I knew what was inside. That is what that is what I, the whole time, had wanted from Kiyosuke. Well, I mean, well, the contents, well, the contents are not what matter. I wanted to convey my words the best I could. Although, I guess I should have said the place and time. I wanted to hand it over even if I was a little early. Yeah, because I wanted to tell you. My heartbeat throbbed intensely and my voice shook. I figured there wasn't a better time than now. Although it's by no means expensive, but since I wanted to give an engagement ring to you. I watched Kiyosuke's eyes intently. Kiyosuke re returned the look into my eyes, smiled gently, and nodded. I wanted to be together with you for so long. So, will you marry me? <laughs> Hi. 
My voice cracked with emotion as I understood it. As for me, I felt that I was always cool and collected, even if I was born that way. But now, but now it was different. Me presently had yet to grow accustomed to being composed. My cheeks died red at how hard he tried to honestly convey the words he spoke. <laughs> he got, got y'all flustered, huh? I had to return the words that I wished was honesty, like him. I was a little reluctant, as, as I am now. But Kiyosuke should have understood my shyness depicting my true feelings. Hey, put it, put it on your finger. I think it'll fit. Boy, if you got the wrong size ring, you know it ain't no chance. Anyway, we know how the story ends, but let's continue. While trying to control the uplift of emotions that completely filled my heart inside, with all my might, I pretended to be calm so I could put on the ring. I wanted to put it on. Kiyosuke. It's what I seemed to feel in my heart. Taking the ring from Kiyosuke, I put it on. The ring finger of my left hand and pushed it down. Buzz, buzz. Yoki. I looked around me. On watch. What? What's wrong? Such a grown face. I wonder if this doesn't please you. Huh? Me now. It wasn't a mistake. I'm happy. Thank of returning from the ADN. I found it tab taboo, but because I desire to be a happy woman. Together with Kiyosuke. I felt entirely it wasn't a mistake. Yeah, I am too. I insert into the root of the, the ring. Buzz, buzz. As I thought. At this time, I had no doubt. Of course, I felt something unearthly. This is an un unearthly inhabitant of hell. So it doesn't appear that my ADN blood has left me. As it gives me a warning nearby. In my surroundings. There's absolutely no sign of anything in my house. Well then, where is it? In my surroundings? In my surroundings? Kiyosuke. The only person around me is before my eyes. Can it be Kiyosuke? But then, why? And for what reason? Why do I feel an unearthly presence from Kiyosuke? Yeah, it's suitable for you, Osagi. Kiyosuke. I had no doubt that our earthly feeling is emanating from Kiyosuke. But only Kiyosuke's tender mood is mixed with the rotting stench of something sinister. What's the matter, Asagi? I gripped Kiyosuke's shoulder and began roughly shaking him. Kiyosuke, it, I was impatient. There was a dark assistant attached to Kiyosuke. If we assume that it's the past hope to cut him off from that origin. But if Kiyosuke is Kiyosuke, yesterday we when we met, there wasn't wasn't anything wrong. If we assume something happened, it happened in face of last night. It's my fault because I love Kiyosuke. If I would have been at his side the entire time, he wouldn't have ended up like this. I dragged Kiyosuke into this. Simply on the account of me being a happy woman. Y yesterday. Your party. Of course, you're angry, aren't you? Well, damn, girl. Kiyosuke stared at the ceiling with a vacant with vacant eyes. Is that out of the ordinary? No kidding. 
Let's compare it with you of th that time. You almost become a stupid. Ooh. Kiyosuke slowly attached his hand to her hair. <laughs> Truly. I'm going to teach you how, like you, are supposed to please man. I'm going to degrade and corrupt you, Adiana Saki. Thereupon, Kiyoshi flew backwards. This can't be happening. <laughs> I'll take you. Ninja Arts, Hypnotism Seal. Kiyoshi laughed madly, putting together symbols with his fingers. The ring I had put on was glowing bewitchingly, melting into my body, spreading out and vanishing. <laughs> At this time, Kiyoshi's face has completely changed. A facial expression full of evil. It was no longer Kiyosuke before my eyes. That's to say, it was Kiyosuke's figure, but was referred to as Oboro. I cut her head off three years ago, but Oboro is still alive? Before my eyes, Takoma began to spread over his body, and swaying from side to side, flesh tentacles grew and spread. I wasn't able to comprehend the situation. I no longer worried about the woman's happiness that had just been trampled on. Now I had to fight and concentrate on rescuing Kiyosuke. And that's how we're going to end today's episode with a cliffhanger. So make sure y'all subscribe for more timing in. I will play through this completely. And find a way to censor what's to come. But until then, I'm the Game Boy DS. Like, share, subscribe. Game over. We're out.